Step 2. Topology and traffic. What is topology? Topology is the set of nodes and links in the network, and it tells us who is directly connected to whom. On the other hand, traffic is a something a little bit different. It's a set of conversations, so it tells us which node is talking to which other nodes. Because there is traffic, the various links in the network are being used. And how much they are used, how busy they are, or how busy the entire network is, is determined by the load. For example, if a link is being used all the time, we might assign a percentage of 100% to it. If it's used only half of the time and half of the time it's idle, then it will be 50%. Or we may want to assign some other um, unit, for example, gigabits per second or so on. Let's talk about an abstract example first before we consider concrete ex examples and implementations. Here we've got three clients that wish to make use of a quantum mainframe here at the top. And this cloud in between represents our abstract network. Before we were always saying that the clients or the end nodes can use the network to connect to the mainframe. So we are kind of thinking about it that there's three separate connections between each client and the mainframe. But in fact, this is not going to be true in the real world. In the real world, the connection that's shared between the network and the mainframe is most likely going to be one, uh, the same connection. So this will create a bottleneck for the different conversations, for the different traffic pattern that the mainframe is sharing with the clients. If we take it away and think about how we might want to implement such a scenario, this is one, one possible implementation where we put a quantum router in here, and the clients first connect to the router, and the router connects to the mainframe. So the router routes the uh, quantum information from each client into the mainframe and back. Now the traffic patterns flows this way. Now it's more clear that this connection, this link over here, that's connecting the mainframe and the router, is shared by multiple connections. If we assign the load one in some arbitrary units to the link between a client and the router, then we immediately see that the link, load on the link between the router and the mainframe must be equal to three, assuming that the bandwidth is the same for all the links. Now let's consider a different topology. We've got peer-to-peer -peer distributed com computing. We have four clients that are talking to each other through this abstract cloud, our abstract quantum network. One way of implementing this would be to share direct connections. If we do that, then the quantum networks over here and over here require two quantum network interface cards, or QNICs. For example, this guy requires a QNIC to connect to its neighbor to the north and to its neighbor to the west. A different way of implementing uh, such a network would be, again, via the use of a router where we use the topology of this star-shaped network, where all the clients first connect to the router, and then the router routes the traffic to the corresponding or the desired client. By changing the router into an optical switch, we uh, uh, get the same functionality, but we change the performance. So this design uh, decision has real-world implications. Also, in the real world, we may want to think about distance. The geographical needs of our network will determine whether we actually can connect the router to an end node, in this case, a sensor node directly, or if we need one or multiple uh, quantum repeaters. This concludes our step on topology and traffic. In the next step, we're still going to start to discuss various examples of quantum networks.